Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Missy. Thanks for joining me again for another video. Today's layout is for shimmers and there's some information on how to get yourself some free product when you place an order. Today I'm going to be starting out with some white cardstock and some of the textures. And this is the white color and it's called Tidy Whitey. And uh, at this point, I don't even know what collection I'm going to use or what photo. I just know that I want to create a background from scratch and I want it to be very textured. And so I just grab one of my stencils. It's a small square grid stencil and I just use a palette knife to rub some of this textures over it. And the textures is kind of like a, a modeling paste, but it's very gritty. It's almost like it has sand or uh, little gritty granules in it. it. I always say that it reminds me of face scrub because when it dries and you touch it, it's, it's very sandy and, and gritty and it gives awesome texture. And when I use my heat gun, I always like to flip the paper over and dry the back of it as well because that's gonna help your paper to stay flatter and not warp as much. So I picked up my picture there and I decided to use one of these hot buy packs that I found at Michael's a couple of months ago for $5. It's the Fifth and Frolic collection from American Crafts. And I think it's a couple years old, but you can't pass up $5 American Crafts paper packs. So I had to have it and it's been sitting on my shelf for a while. And I'm just flipping through and picking out pictures or not pictures, papers that I like and that I think I might use because they all have similar colors. This paper is awesome. It's got all these different color, cute little Polaroid uh, frames on it. And so I'm going to cut out several. And the idea that I had going on in my head was to use a lot of these as layers behind my picture. Just have a bunch of these cute little different color squares randomly placed behind the picture. So that's kind of what I'm going to start out with here. And I love the colors here, even though they're, they're springy to me, and it's almost September, but I don't care what time of year it is. I kind of just scrap whatever inspires me at the time, and so these colors just kind of jumped out at me. And I picked out that uh, yellow polka dot paper and that light teal piece with a tree on it. Um, I'm also going to work in some of this pinkish purple color, and those are going to be the three main colors that I'm going to work with here. And they, I think they go with my picture because my picture's got kind of a creamy and white tone to it. And I actually already have some vellum stuck to it because I had tried to use it on a previous project and it just didn't work. And so I saved the picture for another project. So I'm just going to play with the papers here and cut them to different sizes and work on my layering and uh, I like to come in with different patterns. I like to have some solids. I've got some polka dots and I'm going to bring in some stripes and I think that uh, they look nice mixed together there. And I'm just going to play around with these little frames here and um, try to get it all worked together how I like it. And that's how it's going to wind up looking. Um, and I don't want to disassemble this and come back to it because I will forget what it looks like. So before I do my background, I'm going to go ahead and use my ATG gun and stick all this down so it will be, you know, one whole piece like this. That way it's ready to go once my background is ready. So here I come with my Shimmers products and I'm going to use some Inklings and some Creamies. And when you get these two different kinds of products, as you can see when you open them up, they're hard. Okay, that doesn't mean that they're bad, it just means that you have not activated them yet. So you have to either drop or spray some water in there and let it sit for a few minutes to soften up the, uh, the paint. And in the meantime, I'm going to come in here with some of my colorings, and this is Well Blow Me Down. And uh, I'm just going to use the packaging technique here. And it's a little bit more difficult to do with that texture paste on there, or with the, with the textures on there, because it is bumpy and raised. And so what I'm finding that... Um, makes makes it look the best here is if I actually kind of push down with my fingers and actually smudge the whole piece of plastic like that almost like I'm trying to clean the paper um, that gets it in between the um, the squares of the uh, the textures there you know if my cardstock was flat without the textures it would it would go on smoothly but since you've got the texture there it does make it look a little different and I like that and that's the look that I was going for here so I'm going to add some splatters here with the same color 
And I like the way this dries a little bit lighter. It's going to match that teal color in those papers perfectly, I think. I'm going to do a little bit of dabbing with my Subway napkins there. I just kind of folded the end up like a, or not folded, but twisted like a pencil. It works great. All right, so my um, creamies and inklings have had time to sit, and they've softened up. I'm going to play around here. Um, I've, I've picked out several colors that are yellow and gold tones, and um, I'm just going to play around. And I'm using the paintbrush here and just kind of lightly painting over the same stencil. And it kind of bleeds through. It doesn't make perfect squares, and I'm okay with that. I don't want it to look perfect. I want it to look kind of, you know, watercolory and, and messy. And so I just wanted different shades of yellows. Now this yellow is a lot brighter. This one is called Daffodil, and it's a Creamies. And if, you, if you've seen the, um, the shimmer shorts that I've made, I've kind of gone into detail on each of these products to let you know what, what's the difference between them. But the main difference with the Creamies is that when it dries, it dries very um, like a satin finish very very shiny and very pretty so I'm going to take the heat gun to this just to go ahead and encourage it to dry a little quicker because I get impatient when I've got an idea going in my head and I didn't want to wait so I keep putting my little paper cluster here on top of it to see what it looks like and if I need to add color in other areas and I do want to add a little bit more yellow down here at the bottom but I'm just using my brush and just lightly tapping it it's not a hard technique. It just depends on how much you want and, and what you want it to look like. So I'm coming in with a different color here. I believe this one's called Meet Me at Sunset. And it's another yellowish, goldish tone. Now the inklings are very pretty. They're like watercolor, but when they dry, they have a shimmery tone to them. And sometimes they look two-tone because they have different color powders mixed in. So I'm going to use my little glue here and glue this down because the background is kind of how I want it. And I'm going to come back in here in a minute with my stencil on top of the papers with this circle stencil. I'm not going to do too much, but I am going to add some circles here. And I'm going to wind up using my finger. And I'm going to use these two pink colors. This one's called Beats Me and it's an Inklings, and I'm just going to dab my finger in it and kind of use it like I would a gelato or um, something like that. Um, and it's, it's watery, but if you don't use too much of it, then it, it will work great like this. And some of it did smudge because it is watery, um, and I had a lot on my finger at first, but like I said, I didn't want it to be perfect. I want it to look kind of messy, and so that's the perfect look that I was going for. And this color matches the pinkish purple color paper perfectly. Pinkish purple paper perfectly. Peter Popter picked her peck of pickled peppers. What? Yeah, I can't do tongue twisters very well. Anyway, I don't know what that was. Let's move on. I'm going to keep dabbing my finger in here and making several more little circles around where it's going to come out from underneath the picture like that. Let's see, what color do I have now? I can't see. Oh, this is the gold. Oh, this is called Minor Minor 49er. And it's so pretty. When it dries, it's like a sparkly, shiny gold. I love it. Very pretty. I'm going to come in here with my favorite lined stencil. And I'm going to use some of the Dazzlers. And this is called See You in the Morning. And I'm just going to make some subtle, light teal colored lines here. And this is going to give it a little bit more texture on top of those little papers. Since all the texture is on the, underneath them all, I wanted a little bit more on top. And the Dazzlers is kind of like the textures, except it's smooth. There's nothing gritty in the Dazzlers. It's very slick and shiny when it dries. So I'm going to play with some of my American Crafts embellishments. I think this is from the Daydreamer collection. That little um, hot air balloon. I think it's Daydreamer. I've got so many odds and ends from past collections that uh, I kind of all group them together 
after I use a lot of them and then I can't remember which collection they came from. But I know that these uh, shiny gold foam thickers are also American Crafts. Um, I want to say these came with Serendipity. I could be wrong. And I'm definitely going to be using uh, some of my flare buttons from a flare for buttons here. And that uh, pink button with the white heart matched perfectly. I love when I go through embellishments and things just match. And they're not even from the same collection or even the same brand. But they match perfectly like they did come together. I love when that happens. Another flare button on the left, it says hashtag camera love. And I added some yellow thread under it just for a little more pop of yellow on that side. This is another American Crafts paper. I think this is also from Daydreamer Polka Dot Party. One of those. And it's got a bunch of these little teal cameras. And I love cutting them out and using them one by one on collections. If it's got that light teal color in it, I think it's very pretty. I'm going to add a little more yellow of the daffodil behind that hot air balloon just because I think I needed some more yellow up there and a little more down here on the bottom. I'm really liking how this is coming together. I think the colors together are really pretty. I'm going to tuck in a little bit of gold thread. That is gold shiny thread and I have to work with the gold and the silver whenever it's metallic thread. I have to work with it a lot more than the others just because of the, uh, the texture. It doesn't want to bend. Not, not necessarily bend, but it doesn't want to uh, fold up very well. It wants to sprawl out and stay straight, so I have to really bunch it to get it to stay scrunched. I add another little flare button there with the bicycle, and then I go through some of the ephemera and add that little ticket up at the top. And I think that's going to wrap it up, uh, except for the journaling, which I use my T-square ruler for, and my little black Sharpie. Added some washi tape and then I'm going to come in with this me and my big ideas gold stickers and just add some little arrows and hearts and uh, I do put Paige's name at the bottom. But I hope you guys in are inspired to use the Shimmers products um, after seeing this and seeing what you can do with them. There are so many possibilities, um, so many different products to choose from and you can really do anything with them. There's so much fun to play with. You can layer these products together to create your own colors. Um, there's literally something for everybody. There's shiny things. There are flat colored things. We've got texture. We've got smooth sparkles and satin sheens. You name it. We've got it. And there's some new stuff coming down the pipe soon, hopefully. And uh, just, it's awesome. So please check out Shimmers. I've got the, the blog, the paint store, our YouTube channel down at the bottom. Uh, there's my final product or project. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it come together. Please let me know if you have any questions about anything related to shimmers. And I hope you guys give them a try because they are really fun and really beautiful products. So thank you so much for joining me. There is my list of things that I used and have a great day.